Oh, hold on, sorry. My fucking VR is just not cleaning. There we are. You know what I mean? That'd be cool. To have. Now, we are playing JoJo Wild Star Battle. Uh, so we're gonna actually wait. Hold on. Uh, we are going to play 5 star difficulty because uh, I want to try hard. Okay. Actually, I didn't left it long enough. Hold on. So, um, how are you all doing, everyone? Alright, let's just close our eyes. Uh, how are you guys all doing? Uh, it's Christmas, uh, Christmas Day. Oh, Diego Brando. I think I already played as him, so let's just... Okay. Okay, no. Wait, hold on. Isn't this... Okay, it's gold season. There, there we go. Harvest time. Um, I was just waiting for the harvest. Okay. Okay, how long should we wait for? Because I want to make this fair as possible. Like, I want to have, like... By the way, if I get Shigachi, I'm just gonna fucking skip him. But still, anyway. Let's go. Okay, Joseph. I haven't played Joseph in like a long time. I know I went through like three characters, I know. I know it's like not true to the, uh, to the challenge, but still. Uh, I'm doing very well. Uh, I can't wait to get my controller, the uh, one. Oh, I thought that was gonna hit, but I didn't think it was gonna hit. I know I'm not doing any damage because I wanna do the fucking D, uh, the fucking thing. That's what I wanna do. Just. If I really wanted to try hard, I would have done it by now, but still. I'm just being a chill man today. Let's be a chill man today. Now we did our uh, two things. Now we can go as normally now. You know what I mean? We can do anything now. Alright, let's go. What do you fucking think about, bro? Don't even think about it, bro. They always keep blocking the fucking shit. That's the way problem. I'm <laughs> 
How? I can't wait for my controller. That's that's the honest truth. Uh, my dad came in today and he basically. <coughs> oh God, sorry. Not sick. I just got a call. That's some stuck in my fucking throat. Um. So yeah, my dad uh, basically came in. And he gave me a fucking. He gave me two cards and he gave me a bag of fucking sweets. Do I look fat or something? Don't answer that question. Um. Anyway. Um. No. Like. He gave me uh, the game. Uh, he gave me one of the games that he's gonna get me for Christmas. I'm like. I said. I'm like, Dad. Why? Why did you give me fucking Christmas uh, Christmas present? Like. You see, in our family. Oh, oh yeah, you know the block. I forgot. But I forgot you can't block it. Um. He, and I said, uh, in our family, we're allowed to open one present at, at the, the 21st, uh, the 24th of December. So on the 24th of December, I can only open one present. You know, like those that rule uh, you're allowed to open one present on Christmas. On the 24th. So that's what I basically did. I just uh, opened one of them at Christmas. But well, it was my sister's. Uh, my sister's present. And she gave me Lego. I'm not joking. Yeah. She gave me Lego. I think it's because uh, because I got custom Lego minifigures. But uh, I'll show you that when I get like... I'll show you that when I get my... Uh, what's it called? A... My room tour. My room tour. I can't wait for that. I can't wait to do my room tour for this year. Uh, I'll show you my room tour uh, sooner or later. I, I still I do have a room tour, but it's just that uh, it's very old. <laughs> it doesn't have like the stuff that it has now. You know what I mean? It doesn't have the stuff that is like now. Only problem is whole horses like literally only close range only. Why did I waste that fucking stuff? Uh, that <laughs> I know, I waste everything. Um, anyway, uh, as I was saying was that... Oh, shit. Um, so yeah, he basically gave me a present and... Okay, okay, okay. How the fuck? Alright, anyway, um, so yeah, she gave me Lego, and I was like, okay. And then, so that was my 24th, uh, you know, present. Like, I'm always allowed to open one, you know what I mean? I'm always allowed to open one. Then my dad comes in and he's like, oh, no, open this one. And I go, what? And I was like, what? Like, that, that's literally ruining literally Christmas. But still, I don't care. Uh, anyway, I opened it and it was one of the fucking present, uh, presents I told him to get me. Like, fucking hell. Anyway, uh, no, I was just like saying that. Jesus. Fuck. Uh, anyway, um. No, like he told me to open them, and I was uh, open it, and it was uh, it was one of the uh, one of the games I wanted for Christmas. Anyway, um, and he said, uh, and I said, uh, uh, well, basically it's Mario uh, RPG. Uh, I wanted that one because I remember playing that, obviously. I remember playing that one. I remember playing any old game. Like, any old game I can remember, I remember playing.
just like saying that uh, I feel like that was just very bullshit wasn't it um, so yeah and I got uh, you have to open cards before Christmas you know that when you open cards I got a uh, credit obviously probably use that for something because uh, I used that probably for like the fine games again like uh, because I'm gonna get a lot of fine games and I'm gonna be using the arcade stick you know, like the arcade stick, uh, I was about to say, I told you guys about it, uh, again, for the PS4. I got one for the Nintendo Switch, uh, but I don't know if I'm gonna record that, because, uh, I don't know how, like, literally it's gonna be very hard for me to fucking record a fucking... I don't even attack, I don't even attack. I thought you were supposed to, ca I thought it was a counter, like, I thought you can go next to it, but you can't counter. I just I just went next to it for no reason. I thought it was like a counter, like a regular counter, you know what I mean? Like where you just like wait. Wait, uh. Anyway. Yeah, like, she was cheap, but just to fucking stand there. Um. But I was just saying that. It's just gonna be a fucking Christmas. Um. I don't know most of the presents I'm going to be getting, but I know he, he's getting a lot. I don't know most of the presents. <laughs> I only know like two. I only remember two, uh, and that's um, Berserk and um, the complete uh, the complete 1997 version, and the uh, what's it called the. Uh, What's it fucking called? Uh, Resident Evil 4. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and you wonder why. Hmm. I wonder why I'm, pl I'm gonna play Resident Evil 4. Hmm. I wonder why I'm gonna play Resident Evil 4. <coughs> VR! <coughs> oh, God. I got something stuck in my throat. Oh, God. Yeah, again, very sick today, aren't I? Anyway, um, so yeah, I'll be playing Jojo with the arcade stick, uh, so, Jesus, that damage is just shit, honestly, it's just shit. for me to head on. Barrier, the 
Oh god. I was trying to do some death from Volker. <laughs> like they will ever make me do some death from uh... Yeah, so I'm playing Mario RPG. Uh, I got three new games there um, for Nintendo Switch. Uh, Shovel Knight, uh, that's good. Uh, that's brilliant. I played it, it was fucking brilliant. I fucking love it. I'm loving playing it, it's fucking great. Have you ever played Shovel Knight? You guys should play Shovel Knight. I'm not. I'm honestly, I'm honestly recommending it. It's honestly a fucking good one. It's honestly the greatest side score I ever played in my life. It's so good. It's so addicting as well. I love it. It's just such a good game, man. It's like a masterpiece. Um. Let's see, what else do we have? We have uh, Zelda Link's Awakening, that is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant as well, I love that one as well. The remastered one. Um, it's absolutely brilliant though. Oh jeez. We got a good King Crimson over here. God, I did miss uh, I did miss Eyes of Heaven, but it's pretty good. Eyes of Heaven's pretty good. Honestly, it is pretty good. All Star as well is pretty good. But which one would I rather? I'd probably rather uh, All Star. As more characters, though. However, however, what All Star, what uh, Eyes of Heaven has and uh, fucking All Star don't have is that, like, it actually takes like. The full five seconds, and like you can roam around, you know what I mean? Like, you can roam around anywhere. Like, this just feels condensed. I know, like, it's a 2D, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Speed wagon. Oh, I 
He's got Act 2, fuck. He's gonna get Act 3, fuck. Oh, he's on Act 4 now, fuck. Get him before he gets Act 4. Well, he still has Act 4 after fucking round 2. Go on, attack me, will you? They are, they are fucking hell. Jesus, sorry if I blew in the face. Oh, God, my ass. Final. B why is it always fucking Miranda? Can I ask? Why the fuck is it always Miranda? That's three times now that it's been Miranda. Jesus Christ! I know I'm doing the same move over and over again, but she actually she forced my hand. Shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. How? Fuck! Oh. I was distracted, fuck's sake. I thought that was gonna hit off really, honestly, the fucking... I should have blocked when I fucking got it. <laughs> I did. Oh, 
Oh fuck. Don't. <sighs> Holy shit. I think I'm gonna get an A or an S. I think an A and an S because I got. Oh fuck. I still got an S. How? If I get a better character. I'm, I'm gonna pretend I, 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 I. Oh, hold on. Sorry, I'm blind. Ah! Oh, oops. My, 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 my right finger actually lifted up, uh, actually pressed the circle button. Oh, well, looks like we're picking a different character. Oh, Jolene, let's go. Whoever likes Shigechi is a fucking dickhead. Shigechi's the worst fucking stand user. He fought. Any ability you use will fucking defeat him. I'm not joking with you. I am not joking with you. I had an argument here that I had an argument yesterday. Like I was gonna like fucking rage over that. Like how the fuck did fucking Shigechi come into this game? Why the fuck did he came into this game? Like he doesn't make any logical sense of why he's in this fucking game. Like, any ability you use will defeat him. Because Josuke uses ability and defeats Shigachi. Okiasu uses ability to defeat Shigachi. And then Kira killed him with his. with what? His ability. So, any ability you use to get. you use. you have on your stand is gonna defeat him. Even fucking Void and Man will probably win against him. And that fucking stand is just shit. Oh, win again, rock, paper, scissors. I wonder if I could do a combo. Yeah, mine can't do a combo on this guy. On this Jolene. Yeah, uh, seriously, Bolter. That's gotta be good, man. That's a good one.
ちの光を I wish they had more outfits in this game. So since I'm a great predictor of everything, I'm gonna predict the next few characters that could come up for uh, par parts. So if it's part one, it's gotta be uh, Dire. It's gotta be Dire, uh, Dire. You know the thunderstruck quick attack. Uh, if it's part one, if it's part two, I think it might be Sat uh, Satana. Uh, if it's part two, like if it reveals like what part it is, you know, like what they did last time, like this character is from part five, this character is from part six. You get me? So if this new character is going to come from part one, it's going to be Dio, because that's the only character I can think of that is. Uh, a good substance of part one. Uh, part two, obviously, uh, either Santana or probably yeah, Santana or what was that guy's name? That that was uh, that got attacked by Joseph's uh, fucking. You know that had river stingy eyes. So, you know the guy. Fucking I forgot his name now. Fuck no. The guy who betrayed fucking everyone. I forgot his name. Oh fuck. That's gonna break break my arm now. That's gonna break my head now. I forgot his name. The guy who fucking betrayed like a uh, fucking speed wagon and all that stuff. You know what I mean? He wanted to live forever, like. <laughs> I would love it too because like uh, if if Joseph had the line, it'd be like that that. That old woman would be like suffering. It would be like, <laughs> you know, like the infamous like, how did he get his two, uh, you know, like the fucking two holes in the head? You know, like that one. <laughs> That'd be funny to see. You know, he'd be, it'd be like suffer. Uh, it'd be like suffocating an infant. <laughs> That'd be funny. But still, anyway, um. If it's from part 3, I know who it's gonna be. It's obviously gonna be Geb, because Geb is from, uh, is from uh, Eyes of Heaven, so they already have the character model and all that stuff. They just need to make the moveset and all that stuff. You see, that's the reason why they added like some uh, Eyes of Heaven characters into here. Is because they, they, need, uh, they want to have characters that are easy to make. So they have characters from Eyes of Heaven, basically. <laughs> oh, just give from part A. It's literally the best. Or Gabby. It's literally the best in this game. Literally, I love playing as them in this game. Uh, if it's part three, there could be a couple characters. There could be like a lot of characters, though. Not just like uh, what's his name, and uh, like not just like uh, Geb. There is the High Priestess. Like they could introduce the High Priestess. However, I think it's just a, I think it's a Capcom uh, character because like literally, I know she came from like Fate of Heritage, but like I feel like. If they introduced her, I feel like they need to make an agreement with Capcom if they wanted to introduce her to the game. 
because like literally that's the only thing that Capcom did basically made her like because like in the anime and in the manga they never see, you never see her face but however Capcom was like no we're gonna have to make a character model for her and they kind of make her like looking like a, a mermaid-esque person like you know what I mean like a mermaid like kind of like you should see her like she's she's the fan art and uh, actually Fun fact, uh, the person, uh, the author, uh, uh, Hiro Kuraki liked it. She liked the uh, design. She liked the design of uh, Capcom's uh, uh, High Priestess so much so that he actually put it in like a cover art or some shit like that. Like he actually drew himself like in the in the style of JoJo, and it looked pretty cool. Like it actually looked pretty cool, and like I, that was like a really good fact. Like. That was like a big compliment, like getting a fucking, getting like a drawing from fucking Araki. Like, Capcom should have been proud, you know what I mean? Like, Capcom should have been proud of that. Because they made like a character who has never been seen into like a good character design, you know what I mean? Um, so... Yeah, there's a lot of characters in part 3, however, I don't think they will be coming to All-Star Battle R because we're just sick and tired of seeing uh, part 3 characters. We just want to see, like, new characters, you know what I mean? Characters that are, like, fan favorites or something like that. Like, uh, for example, part 9. We could, we, I would love to see part 9's uh, Joe Dio. Have you seen uh, part 9? Uh, Joe Dio's, yeah. I would love to see Joe Dio's... Um, I would love to see Joe Dio, like, November Rain and all that stuff, like, we had, like, the thing is, we had, uh, what's his name, we had Josuke from Part A, even before, like, it was only, like, five chapters in, five chapters of, of, uh, Part A, Joe Jolian, and, uh, literally, they put, they put, uh, Joe, uh, they put him in the game, even though, he only had like five chapters. They still put him in because they wanted they wanted to have him in the game, and it's still accurate to the fucking day. It's still accurate to what he's doing in the anime. Like no matter what, he's still accurate. Anyway, um, um, as I was about to say, um. No, it's like, it's still accurate. Like, I feel like it's still accurate. Uh, but I feel like they should do Joe jo uh, jo 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 Dio, whatever his name is. Uh, I would love to see that. Like, November Rain or some shit like that. I don't know. Fucking hell. Like, that'd be fucking cool. I saw November Rain of uh, the stand, November Rain. It's absolutely fucking brilliant. I love the design of it. It's so fucking good. Uh, like, I feel like the rain base stand, like, you know, you have to stand underneath it to g and ta you take physical damage. But we can't know for sure because Araki likes to use, like, Araki likes to develop his characters and then when they, like, when they be, like, at the start, at the beginning, like, they're not very powerful, but then near the, like, middle and all that stuff, then they become powerful. Like, the side characters for example that's like a main example like they get powerful threat all like the the entire series same with the main character like they get like like Jolene only had like she can only like make a uh, string appear on her hands and now she t manifest the entire stand like have you ever seen the anime uh, part 6 anime where like she's just basically like she only had like strings in her fingers and all that stuff. She didn't have like a physical stand like Stone Free right here, like right there, until much later on because like she's only getting used to a stand, you know what I mean? And I feel like Jolene's stand is quite good because it kind of reflects uh, Hermit Purple and Star Platinum. It kind of combines the two, you know what I mean? It kind of combines the two. You know what I mean? Like, 
Har Har Purple likes to string people up, and uh, Sto uh, and Star Platinum likes to um, likes to punch people until they're fucking concussed, which Stone Free does. So it's basically like like a mixture between um, Hammer Purple and uh, Sto uh, Star Platinum, really. And obviously, it's a uh, it's obviously another uh, it's a it's a in what's it called fucking uh, it's a it's inspiration from uh, Bruno's uh, stand, uh, Sticky Fingers, because like he can extend his arm and all that stuff, and he can put string, like he can put like anything there. You know what I mean? It's kind of like an inspiration from that as well. I was running out of life. I I know I know I was doing the same move all over again, boss. Sick. You know, I never even pay attention to the fucking battles. You know that? I don't even pay attention to the battles. I just like literally my mind goes blank. You know what I mean? While I'm talking, you know what I mean? Honestly, I would not like to see part sex Joro, honestly. Honestly, I'm sick of seeing Jotaro. I know he's a fan favorite, but I just hate him. I just, just don't like him. He's just a dickhead. An absolute dickhead. Like, he ruined Jotaro for me. He ruined him. You, you wanna know why? Okay, let me explain why I hate part 3 and part 4. It's because of Jotaro. Okay, so first off, you got part 3 uh, be, have uh, the star of the stands. I don't mind stands. They are fucking brilliant. They are a brilliant idea. I'm not disrespecting the stands. I'm disrespecting fucking Jotaro. Like, he is just a fucking dickhead. That's all I am just gonna say. Like, he gets everything he wants, really, in that, ga in that anime. Like, every, every second, I just want, I just hate him. Like, literally, he had no redeeming qualities. He had literally no redeeming qualities. He had no fucking redeeming qualities at all. He had no fucking redeeming qualities. Like, as I saw him, I just saw him as a fucking character that doesn't give a shit. And just is selfish. Like, why would I want to like a character that is just selfish? And, like, the whole of Power 3 was just basically, like... Jotaro enters the room. There's a stand. Uh, uh, there's a sta enemy stand. Aura, aura, done. And then yara yara does it. That's it. That's basic part three in a nutshell. That was basic part three in a nutshell. It's just two two seconds of battle with interesting stands. And literally, the best, like, it looked, the, the, the enemy stands were fucking brilliant. And I want to see their power, like, their full power, you get what I mean? Like, I want to see their full power. I want to see them actually, like, try to win, you know what I mean? Like, like, in part 5, you know what I mean? Like, using fucking your, using your fucking brain instead of using your fists. 
You get what I mean? Like what? That's what Jojo was all about. In part one, part two, it was about using Harmon to like a smart level, you know, like into a logical level. And then in part three, it was just basically like watching, just watching. It was just watching someone beat beat people up for like about fucking. It was like watching someone just beat up. Someone. That's it. That was it. So, I didn't like that because Jordan just got everything he wanted, really. And he's still not satisfied. He's like, oh, I'm not satisfied. I'm still gonna call everyone a bitch. I'm, I'm a complete edgelord because I'm fucking. And I'm like, how the fuck does people like this character? Like, because, like, all he does is fucking bitch and moan. All he does is bitch and moan. And then he gets what he wants, and then when he gets what he wants, he still is fucking edgy. He's not even fucking thankful. He's not even then. He's not even then fucking other other people take the spotlight. It, and that's why I hate Par Four. I used to love fucking Par Four. Par Four, fucking was brilliant until Mr. Fucking Jordan over here fucking ruined it. Literally. I, it came to the end, like, I was, like, ready for the ending, I was like, oh my god, this is such a good battle, you know what I mean, like, uh, Josuke versus, uh, Kira, creation versus destruction, you know what I mean, yin and yang, creation versus destruction, I was like, come on, come on, Josuke, come on, you can do this, and I was, like, waiting for him, and then, like, when he, when Josuke said, you're within my range, Bring out your killer queen. You know what I mean? I felt like, oh, I was like, Kira, you're getting fucking tired. You better fucking start again. Some shit done. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, like Josuke was so badass in that scene. And then, and then he beats up Kira. I was like, yes, Josuke, come on, come on, Josuke, you can do this. You know what I mean? Let the voice of the. I was like, literally playing breakdown. And then. As soon as an, as soon as an, I, I see, I see Jotaro and Kira, I was like, no, 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 <laughs> I was like, no, because like, I was like, no, let Josuke play, please let Josuke win this one, please, <laughs> let Josuke bow Kira, please, and then fucking K uh, Jos uh, Jotaro was like, stop random, the world though, and I was like, oh, fuck off. And then as soon as he done that, I was like, fuck off, I'm not fucking watching that anymore. And then I stopped watching fucking jo uh, jo Jojo. Because I was like, Jojo was just ruining the fucking whole anime for me. And that's why I, like, that's why I stopped watching the anime. I, that's why I stopped it for, for, a few, for a few years. I didn't watch part 5 in like, until probably like... Until like probably one year later. Like I'm not joking with you. Like it was that bad. Like he was just literally stealing fucking. He was not letting Josuke have his own spotlight. You get what I mean? Like he was not letting Josuke actually defeat the defeat the person, uh, defeat Kira. And I felt like that was a bit fucking hypocritical. Like I feel like. I felt like Hirok or Rocky just likes Jotaro, and I'm like, why? Like, he's just a fucking dickhead. And then, in part fucking 5, oh, that's a masterpiece. Masterpiece. When I watched it, and I was like, oh no, Jotaro's gonna ruin the fucking anime again. Please don't worry in part 5. And then when I watched part 5, it was a masterpiece. Because of one reason, of one reason only. Because Jotaro wasn't there. And literally, the journal let everyone else had a battle. Like, Mista had a battle. Narancha had a battle. You know, they all had their own individual battles. Like, I still lo love... I, the, one of the most memorable stand battles is not even the main character stand. Like, uh... Like, for example, like, I can remember Bruno's, like, most of Bruno's battles, and he's just a side character, like, like, I was, pr I was proud, I, 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 when I went, when I, when I finished part 5, it was like, oh, that was perfect, 
because like it literally let side characters actually have the spotlight while having the main character have the spotlight as well you know what i mean like that like that battle bruno versus uh prosciutto and pesci oh chef's kiss that was fucking brilliant it was like it was like I'm gonna defeat you, Bruno, and then he uses his stand's ability, and fucking, that was brilliant. When I saw that, I was like, oh, finally, a smart moment in fucking Jojo, instead of Aura Aura, go brr. And when I watched part 5, and I ended part 5, I was like, I'm back. Jojo... I love you. And then, now part 5 made me love part, uh, Jojo. And then part, when I watched part 6, I was like, oh fuck, we're gonna have to see Jojo again. You wonder why jo uh, Steel Ball Run and part 8 is good, be is good, is a good anime and is a good manga? It's because Jojo is not there. <laughs> and that's the reason why I don't like no one likes part 3 like I don't think a single person who li who, who likes part 3 but if people do like part 3 yeah I say it's because of the stands that's why that's the only reason why the people like it is because of it introduces the stands but I don't think anyone's gonna like it because of Jotaro and then par four, yeah, that was good. That was good par. But however, Jotaro just ruins the ending, really. And then par five is a masterpiece. Par five is a masterpiece. Uh, part six was all right. Like when I saw uh, Pucci like get rid of uh, Jotaro's stand desk, I was like, yes! I, I just showed so loudly. Sorry for that. I was like, yes! I was like, yes, finally. Joro is fucking gone from that fucking thing. I was like, thank fuck. Finally, Jolene can actually fucking fight her own battles instead of looking out for her father. Like, oh, sorry, he kicked me so hard! Like what fucking jo uh, Joski did. Whenever Joski was in trouble, fucking. Joro, he, he calls up fucking Joro saying, Joro, can you help me kill Aqua? Ah, oh, Joro, please help me. Oh, step uncle, help me. I'm stuck in a washroom. Like, I'm like, Josuke, you're a fucking badass. You have a fucking stand that is literally the best stand I've ever seen in my life. And you're still calling Joro. Like, what the fuck? And then um, when jo when Jolene took the took the fucking thing, I was like, oh, thank fuck. And then when I when I was watching part six, I was happy. I was fucking happy until near the end. And then I was sad and depressed. Yeah, I was happy until I got sad and depressed from fucking part 6 ending. But then I was like, a little bit happy because I, I, I thank god, thank god we can't see any more Jotaro anymore, thank god. He just ruined the anime for me, he just ruined it. Honestly, he just ruined it. Like, like he just became like, one of the most popular, popular but one of the most annoying. Like, all part 3 battles were, was like this. Oh, an enemy stand! Aura, 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 aura! Dead. That's basically the entire part 5. Part 3, sorry, I meant. But part, three, uh, part 5 was like this. Part 5 was like this. Oh, there's an enemy stand user. Let me use logic and deduction to defeat this character. And to defeat this enemy stand. You know what I mean? Let me use logic and use my stand ability. You get what I mean? Well, anyway, I hope you can enjoy a better rant. <laughs> it was a long rant, I'll tell you that.
But anyway, I hope you enjoy it, and I can't wait for tomorrow. Anyway, I'll see you later.